In this video, we are going over the integration of Tonic to Clickflare in order to have our conversion events and revenue automatically fed to our tracker without having the need to continuously upload CSV files using intraday unconfirmed conversions and revenue or uh, the confirmed revenue and conversions that uh, require 24 hours to be settled. So before we begin, what we will need to do first is go over the tracking links or over the links of our Tonic campaigns. So uh, to begin with, we have four sub IDs, sub ID one, two, three, and four, where we can send any kind of information or tracking information that we want to send to Tonic. Then we have the link from Tonic, which is this, uh, this which looks uh, like uh, the following link here. And we have a set of information that we will need to provide Tonic in order to be compliant with their requirements, which are the network name, site name, ad title, and sometimes the traffic source click ID. Our uh, campaign link will end up looking to something like this. So we have the first part of the link, which is the subdomain and domain uh, that is being generated from Tonic. And we will need to append on the query string the following parameters like network equals the traffic source name where we are currently passing the traffic source name dynamically. So if, we're, if we are using the same link for Tabula or Outbrain or Yahoo Gemini or Facebook or whatever the traffic source it is, we can dynamically pass the name of the traffic source to the link without having to hard code or put the names manually here or uh, recreate the same offer over and over again. Also here we're passing dynamically the site name or the website where our ads are being shown. In this case, it will be uh, passing the, uh, the information passed on our traffic source configuration tracking field one. We're passing as well the ad title, which in our current configuration uh, relies, uh, resides on uh, tracking field number three. And we can pass any tracking information that we want on sub ID 1, sub ID 2, and sub ID 3. What is important for the uh, integration to work is uh, the Clickflare click ID, which is this uh, placeholder or macro here. And we are passing this to sub ID 4. And it doesn't need to be necessarily passed on sub ID 4, but we can pass it on whatever sub ID that we want as long as it is free and we're not ruining our tracking uh, template or previous tracking uh, settings. And lastly, we're passing the click ID for, of the traffic source, which is being stored as an external ID on Clickflare. Before we move forward with the integration of uh, Clickflare, we will need to first uh, create an offer using this link or to create a starting offer. So let's copy this link. Let's go over the offers. Let's click on add new. Let's paste the URL here. And as you can see, we have the external ID, click flare, click ID, traffic source name, and tracking fields already uh, set here. So they are already selected and present to our uh, tracking string. Let's call this uh, tonic, uh, tonic search campaign one, whatever. And this is just the offer or tonic search offer one. Let's save this. And before proceeding or setting our Tonic API credentials here, we will need to go over the settings page under custom conversions and specify uh, a specific custom conversion like I have done here. So we click on add new, specify, let's say search click and type here the parameter name search underscore click. And here we will need to include this in the main conversions and include this in the main revenue column. Once we hit save, this event is uh, saved here and we can use this event when setting up the configuration on Tonic. Now here, still on the settings tab, we will need to go to integrations and let's scroll down to revenue streams, click on add new integration and let's type the name of our Tonic account, how we want to call it. So let's call this Tonic Tonic Losses account. Let's select Tonic from the list of uh, supported uh, search arbitrage or search feed providers. 
Let's specify the custom conversion where we want to attribute the conversion events or the revenue events to, in which case is the search click that we created a minute uh, earlier. And let's specify where we are passing the click ID of our uh, to, to our tonic. So here we are passing the click ID of sub ID 4 and we will need to specify sub ID 4 here. In case we are passing it on another sub ID, let's say sub ID 1, 2 or 3, we will need to specify the sub ID where we are passing this uh, information to. Now, uh, what, what we are left to do is to provide the API credentials from Tonic. So let's go to our Tonic account, go to account, settings and uh, uh, expand the API access. And let's copy these uh, values here. So let's copy the username first that we're going to add to the API token. And let's copy the password and paste it on the API secret. Once we hit on save, the integration is done. What we will need to do next is simply create a campaign. So let's go to campaigns, create new campaign, specify like the name of the campaign. So let's say US tonic search comp one. Let's specify the traffic source. It can be tabula or outbound. So let's call this, let's do this with tabula in this case. We're not tracking the cost, uh, the cost of the campaigns because we're using the optimizer in this case. We, we can type any notes that we want for this campaign so that we can uh, easily refer to later on. We move to the next step where we will need to specify the flow of our campaign. In this case, it will be an offers only flow. Let's go over the offers page and let's type on tonic, tonic search offer one. Let's hit on save and we're done. So here we have the link that we can put to our traffic source destination URL, or let's say if we're, connect, we're creating the campaign on Tabula, this is our destination URL that we need to put on the ads. So simply copy this and paste it to your destination URL in the ads creation process on Tabula. Or if you're using the optimizer, use this as the destination URL of your ads.